Okay, now Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 series as well as Watch 5 series are currently running on One UI 4.5. And Samsung recently announced that One UI 5 is coming soon for both Watch 4 and Watch 5 series. And this will arrive after the launch of the new Galaxy Watch 6 series. Which means the latest Watch 6 will come with One UI 5.0. And after that, the stable version of the same will arrive on Watch 4 series as well as 5 series. But much before that, the beta program for One UI 5.0 will start on watch 4 series users and watch 5 series users in the US and Korea. So if you are in US or Korea, you will be able to register for the beta program starting in the month of May this year via Samsung members application. So keep checking your Samsung members app, you will be notified, you will get a banner on the members application intimating you that the beta program is open. The moment you see the banner, go ahead, tap on that and enroll yourself for this beta program to test the latest features on watch 4 and watch 5. The Galaxy Watch 6 is expected to get launched in the month of August. So we can expect the stable version of One UI 5.0 for the Watch 4 and Watch 5 series probably during the same time. Now, coming to this update, how exciting is this? What are the major changes we are going to see on One UI 5? Let's find out. Now, if you are into smart features, then you may be disappointed because we don't have too many smart features getting added on the watch. This time around on One UI 5.0, the focus is more on the health-centric features. Now, if you are someone who has bought this watch mainly for the health-centric features, then you should be excited. There are two major health-centric feature enhancements on One UI 5.0 along with safety feature as well. One UI 5.0 will be focusing on better sleep. We can expect new Sleep Insights UI as you can see on the screen here. This UI is going to display the user's sleep score to provide a clearer snapshot of the prior night's sleep. And this will be followed by metrics like sleep phases, snoring hours and blood oxygen levels as well. Now we will have more data directly accessible from the watch itself, which wasn't the case. We had to get into the phone to see the detailed data, but now we can expect more information on the watch itself. Now, as you know, the Samsung Galaxy Watch gets connected with variety of devices through the SmartThings feature. And Samsung says One UI 5 watch builds on this feature by now utilizing an infrared sensor rather than a green LED light to further minimize distraction. So there is a lot of focus on sleep this time. The second important enhancement is regarding the heart rate zones. Now we have personalized heart rate zones on the Galaxy Watch and we are also getting the real-time running analysis and a customized interval training program. Samsung says this new feature analyzes individual physical capabilities and sets five optimal workout intensity levels such as warm-up, fat burn, cardio, heart training, and maximum effort. Now, depending on your ability, you can set these hard zones for burning the fat to high impact cardio. We are also getting the expanded route workouts, which now supports running and walking along with the hiking and cycling route options, which was already available. The next important feature which we are getting is about the safety. We are going to get an update to the SOS feature, which will enable us to directly communicate to an emergency service number to relay information on the wearer's location. And this will also allow immediate access to the wearer's medical information once an SOS is activated. And Samsung says in addition to this, fall detection is now activated by default for users of advanced ages to help lower the risk of emergencies. These are some of the feature enhancements we are going to get on the Galaxy Watch. Not really new features, I would say. It is just the enhancements to the existing features, which we are going to see on One UI 5.0. Now, this may not be that exciting for a lot of people out there, but yeah, if you are into health-centric features, then you may find these features very, very useful. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this update. Is it going to be of any use to you? Let me know in the comment section. And also let me know whether you are planning to upgrade to the Galaxy Watch 6 series or not. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.